Hi and welcome to my maths video. Today we are going to do solve for x but we are specifically going to concentrate on trinomials and difference of two squares. Now in the previous video where we had discussed solve for x where x is the power of 2 we have emphasized that number 1 you have to make the equation equal to 0. If there are more than one term then you have to simplify. Then we factorize. After we factorize, we are going to equate each bracket to zero and we solve using linear equations. Now, if you are not okay with the concept of linear equations, please refer to our grade 9 summary video for grade 10 where we had discussed linear equations. The first instruction says we must make it equal to 0. So we've got x squared plus 8x plus 15 is equal to 0. Next, it is already simplified for us. There is no brackets in between. So now we start factorizing, which gives us x plus 5, x plus 3 is equal to 0. Now we are going to equate each bracket to 0. So we have x plus 5 is equal to 0, x plus 3 is equal to 0. Then we solve each equation x is equal to minus 5, x is equal to minus 3. Let's do the following example. If I give you x squared is equal to 9, we first need to make it equal to 0. We know we have to make it equal to 0 because the square in the question tells us it is quadratic and that is the first rule. So we have x squared minus 9 is equal to 0. Now we factorize. This is difference of two squares. We have x minus 3, x plus 3 is equal to 0. If you are not familiar with your factorizing, please refer to our previous videos where we had done factorizing in detail. We have x minus 3 is equal to 0. We are now equating each bracket to 0. So we have x is equal to 3, x is equal to minus 3. At this level we are now solving using linear rules. Okay, Let us do a more complex example. If I gave you x plus 4 into x minus 2 plus 2x is equal to 4. Now the first rule states make it equal to 0. So we have x plus 4 into x minus 2 plus 2x minus 4 is equal to 0. But look at this equation. There is more than one term in this equation. We have three terms which means we have to simplify before we can continue. So in the first Part. In the first term, we're going to use either kitty cat or foil method to get rid of the brackets. We're going to end up with x squared plus 2x minus 8. Then we have plus 2x minus 4 is equal to 0. Now, once we simplify, before we factorize, we must put the equation into descending powers of x. It's called neatening off. So we got x squared plus 4x minus 12 is equal to 0. When it is not neatened off, when it is not into in standard form or descending powers of x, then you don't see the factorizing as easily. But when it is in order, it's easier to see the factorizing. Now we know what factorizing concept would I use here. I would use trinomials, which is x. We have 6 and 2 factors of 12 plus 6 minus 2. So we have x plus 6 into x minus 2. Then we equate each bracket to 0. We have x is equal to minus 6, x is equal to 2. We are solving using linear concepts. Now, Solving for x in trinomials is the heart of maths.
if you are not okay with this section you're going to have a problem trigonometric it is advisable that you revise and re-revise and re-revise the section until you have mastered it because trinomials is the heart of maths it is in every section in matric thank you for watching